Okay, next thing we've got here is going to be an electric field, but we've got our electric field lines. You've got an electric field due to this charge, and you've got an electric field due to this charge, and we want to know between these two what is a net electric field at point P. Now, at point P, there is no charge. Okay, and there's no charge there. That's just a point in space. And one of the things that, that you can mess up with is thinking that that thing's an actual charge. It's not. Your formula for a single charge and the electric field that it creates is E equals KQ over R squared. Okay, so I'm going to call this charge 1, I'm going to call this charge 2. So for my electric field that's being created by 1 on P, so 1 P, is going to be 9 times 10 to the 9. Value of that charge is 4 times 10 to the minus 6. And it's over a distance of 3 meters plus 1 meter, which is going to be 4 squared. So plugging that all in, you're going to get 2,250 newtons per coulomb. And then if this thing is positive, field lines are going out. So along this line, this means that's got to be right. So I've got a field line like this. But it's, of course, you know, it's like in all different directions here but we're only looking at one, the one that's coming straight out and going that way. For the electric field that two is creating at point P, nine times 10 to the nine, that's one times 10 to the minus six over top of one squared, because it's just from here, there's one. So two on P, that is gonna be 9,000 Newtons per Coulomb. And then since this thing is a negative, that means that your field lines are coming in like this, which means that this one's going to be left. So now when I find my net force, my E net, I'm going to take my rightward electric field, 2250, and I'm going to subtract it from my leftward one, which is 9,000. And in total, my E net is going to end up being 6,750 newtons per coulomb, and it's overall left. Okay, so there you go, electric field, two charges in one line.